Ready? Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Should we go with my favourite joke of the week? No. My pussy just died of a massive stroke. <laughs> I don't think you should put that on. <laughs> Hope, yeah, good. Hopefully you will edit that bit. <laughs> yeah, we'll edit that bit. Right, okay, so, um, so uh, Rick, we've got, uh, Rick and Ash, we've got the, um, so, Ash and Rick. So, Rick and Ash. <laughs> Rick and Ash. So, you guys, uh, we've got, so, so we've got a fleet of um, about 20 uh, dinghies and cats out there, from lasers to Hobie Pacifics and skiffs and so on. Tell us a little bit, Rick, about the programme that we offer for instruction and so on inside the reef. Yeah, inside the reef, we um, similar to Vasiliki, we, we run, um, a lot of sailors like to come and blast around and do free sailing, but we do also, if they would uh, like to do it, we run the instruction of all the RYA schemes from level one right through to performance sailing um, with uh, specific cats as well, like they want to work on cats, they want to work on dinghies, we have the RS500s if they would like to blast around a bit faster. Um, also, we run the windsurfing as well, so we've got the windsurfing, if they'd like to start windsurfing, we've got all the kit for that, um, so a lot of people fancy that, it's a perfect bay for that, the winds are not too strong, uh, and you can get up and, and round, and obviously, being inside the reef is, is beautiful. And, and very safe, isn't very it, inside safe, the reef, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a beautiful way. And compared to Vasilik, I suppose the inside the area, inside the reef's about half the size of Vasiliki Bay. That's right. Um, and then we go outside of the bay under controlled conditions once we've seen that people are, uh, uh, are capable of dealing with those conditions. Um, but one of, the most, uh, one, of the, one of the most exciting things that we offer in Vasiliki, sorry, one of, the most exciting things, one of the most exciting things that we offer in Mauritius, which no one else offers anywhere else in the world, is the chance to go on sailaways to remote islands and beautiful beaches within the Indian Ocean. And I think Ash is going to tell us about the three options that we do most of the time and uh, tell us a little bit about them. So Ash, tell us a little bit about the sailor ways that we offer there. Yeah, I mean these are just absolutely superb. Um, so you basically use the catamarans normally, but we are looking at potentially doing some with the uh, monohulls as well, the shorter routes. But we've got three uh, established routes that we use. So the first one's down to um, Tombo Bay. Um, so this is basically you go outside the reef and then it's usually a downwinder so you can have a couple of hours with the kite up. Uh, blasting it down over the waves, stopping at a beautiful beach down there, a um, bit of a kind of picnic dinner, which is nice, and then um, a sail back up. So this can take between kind of four or five hours at the maximum, um, depending on the conditions, of course. Uh, but usually we're looking at 12, 15 knots, uh, a comfortable rolling swell. And so it's just that, uh, yeah, turning on the conditions, when we do that one, that is a beautiful sail. Now that's the one I was on, I've got yeah. to say, absolutely loved it. I didn't go to the, to the two northerly ones that we offer as yeah. well. Tell us a little bit about yeah, those got, as well. Well, I've actually got three now. Three? Uh, okay. Three now, yeah. So it depends, again, on conditions, but there's three options. Uh, the first one we do, which is the short of our sailaways, is just around to Grand Bay, which is the next bay around. Um, beautiful uh, place in there, loads of restaurants and nice little beaches there. So nice one to do is that one. Stop for a nice leisurely lunch. Right in front of the restaurant as well. Yeah, nice. yeah. So the cat, you're actually looking at the cats and the uh, sea, and the uh, and the um, surrounding area. The bay. The bay. The bay. Yeah, the bay. <laughs> uh, whilst you're having your lunch, um, uh, the next one we do is basically further round, so we can go all around to uh, Cat Malaru. Uh, once we actually made it right on to Ange Lorray, which is right on the northeast side as well. Um, so you know, if we've got the ability and the conditions, we can just keep on pushing how far we go. Uh, around the coastline and uh, say so the whole way around the scenes are stunning and the conditions are great um, and the number one we can do is out to the islands in the north uh, Ilu, uh, Flat Island sorry isn't it? Flat Island, Flat Island yeah. yeah, Gabriel. Um, not often we get to do this one um, as this is quite a uh, adventure shall we say um, we do need to have the perfect <coughs> conditions for this one to work it needs the right amount of wind and not yeah. too much swell um, but you never know if you're lucky when you're out there, you might get the opportunity to do this fantastic sail. Um, but as I say, because of safety reasons, not all the time. Okay, and um, we mentioned a bit about kite surfing and windsurfing and touring the island, but of course um, there is some extraordinary diving in Mauritius as well, and we've got a dive school right next to us on the sailing yeah. school, haven't we? Um, Rick, you want to mention a little bit about that? Um, yeah, basically there's the, the area that we're in, um, we're sort of sandwiched between two beautiful uh, parts of the reef. We've got the Mont Chouazi Beach sort of to, our, to the right of our centre and then on the left we've got True Beach and there's about nine dive centres around there because it's that uh, popular an area 
and we've actually got a dive centre right beneath us under our beach house, uh, which we use. And what sort of fish and uh, animal life are we seeing there? Um, all sorts, to be honest. Um, no great whites, though. I there's no think. great whites, no. There is, uh, well, what is it? I'm not much of a diver, but um, I don't go diving. I could do more, but I'm more into muff than I am in fish. But. <laughs> God. <laughs> 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 so let's think. What Sorry. fish? What fish are there? The beautiful parrot, parrot fish, parrot parrot fish, parrot fish. Uh, clownfish, um, everything I find in Nemo, basically. <laughs> I like that, that looks really nice. Yeah, hundreds of varieties of beautiful well, yeah. fish. There's, there's, there's only one possible. type of fish there. <laughs> you may get the it's a cod. Oh, All right. <laughs> and there's also Great the possibility you'll see turtles. And rays. Yeah. yeah, no, there is a lot of turtles. There is the rays out. Turtles, yeah. Yeah. And rays, I've and seen rays, seen rays, 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 yeah, rays yeah. jumping. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, uh, yeah, I look like I do that myself. <laughs> um, uh, what else do I want to talk about? A little bit about the hotel, anything else we, we need to cover? that, darling, but do you think... Yeah, so yeah, we probably should do that. So, uh, we talked a little bit of... No, so uh, I know there's great windsurfing and kite surfing as well on the island and lots of other things to do in the interior, but under the water, Mauritius is supposed to be a very, very special place with its reef that's still there. So tell us a little bit about the diving opportunities. We, is a, we've got a diving school uh, yeah. right in the hotel, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, diving, uh, there's a diving school right under our beach house, uh, which we use um, for our, I think, Adventures Plus, is that right? That's right, um, yeah. Yeah, and uh, no, 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 just do that again. Don't ask. Oh, right, yeah. just, just, right you don't have we to can offer. Branches, I think we yeah, offer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Offer, so yeah. I'll start that again. Yeah, yeah, just don't mention it. If you're in question, just doubt, just because we'll, we'll work it up. So, um, you know, obviously, Mauritius is great for sailing and uh, windsurfing and kite surfing and exploring the interior of the island, but also under the water is uh, pretty fabulous, as I understand. And we've got a diving school uh, right near Bias. Um, you know, tell us a little bit about that and the undersea life, Rick. Yeah, that's right. Um, we offer, as part of our active um, adventures uh, package, uh, to use the dive centre underneath our beach house and they go out and uh, explore the reef around our area. Um, we're sandwiched right between True Beach, which is a beautiful uh, beach. Sorry, Just I need to stop you. We don't offer it as part of our Wild Adventures <laughs> package. It's actually, we could, we could live with that uh, on video. We could live with it's that Adventures Plus. No, yeah. hey, guys, just okay. don't mention either of it. Just say we offer uh, yeah, we're we it's offer. available. We it's offer. Available. Uh, it's available. It's okay, a, no, I'll, just, I'll ask you a question again. I'll start well, the question. You don't need to do. You've got that. Mm -hmm. No, just say it's available. Yeah, so, yeah, so, oh, never mind, I'll do it again anyway. It's just, it <laughs> saves the cutting, Rick, to be honest. Okay. You have to do it once. So, um, and I wasn't. I it's available, sorry, it's available. Yes. Yeah, it's, avail so, it's no, available. So, got. it's a available. Dive you just That's say there's it. a it's diving school right underneath us where you can do blah, blah, blah. Okay. It doesn't matter, it's yeah. available. Because yeah. what we're actually going to do, just so you guys know, is we're offering a program that has seven days sailing. If they go for ten, for example, seven days sailing, and then they can choose what they want to from the menu. It's not going to be an actual programme. They'll decide what they want to do on those and make it up as a menu, much like... So it's not actually included in the... Uh, so it's not included in the programme, you know what I mean? So they can go, I'm going to do a day's kite surfing, a day's diving, a day's around the island. So it's Which not, is helping organise it for them. Yeah, exactly yeah. that, exactly. So it's not going to be quite so much so structured in the way as it was before. So, um, yeah, we've mentioned... Uh, we, we know that um, Mauritius is obviously brilliant for sailing and windsurfing and kite surfing and the... The interior of the island is amazing for uh, explorations, but under the water, Mauritius, uh, I gather, is quite special too. And uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about the diving, Rick yeah. and Ash? Yeah, we, what we have available is um, we have a dive centre right under our beach house, uh, and the coral is literally right outside the hotel and off uh, about a kilometre or so off, off the hotel. They go out on the dive boat and they go and explore all sorts of uh, parts of the reef um, between sort of five, six kilometres. Uh, either side. We've got Mont uh, Reef just to the right and then we've got True Beach on the left um, with loads to see down there. There's a lot of turtles out there. We've, we've seen uh, stingrays jumping out of the water. Um, in fact, during, during one of our Pico sessions with the kids, there was uh, three dolphins came into the bay and the children were capsizing their boats to try and go swim with the the dolphins, which was quite special, I'd never seen that before, and I was like, this is Mauritius, you know. Oh, lovely, so. lovely, lovely. And uh, Ash, you were saying something like the underwater, it's a bit like watching uh, Finding Nemo. That's certainly one way you could put it, yeah. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you have a look at Finding Nemo anytime soon, and you'll probably see a lot of those same things down there. So that, what's that, parrotfish? And yeah, parrotfish, um, clownfish. clownfish and yeah. octopuses washing cars. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, guys, well, I think that's enough. Thanks very, very much, and um, hey, we look forward to seeing you out in Mauritius sometime. Cool. Cheers, guys. Thanks very, very much. That's great. Oh. We'll cut that and send it to the Indians. Lots of pain. <laughs> no, yeah.